What's up my loves and fellow creatives? I'm going to do a brief demonstration of what you're going to do in class today. And if you happen to miss class, you need to come back to this demo. This is your shortcut. So if you could let me know if you can hear me in the, in the chat, please, just so I know I'm not talking to myself and that we have a good connection. Hey, Monica. All right, love. Hey, hey, can you hear me okay? I know there's a, a little bit of delay on the YouTube side, so I just want to make sure you all can hear me. Let me type it in the chat. Okay, awesome. You can hear me. Good deal. So I'm going to flip this template out. Now, of course, you all can put whatever words and whatever imagery you want in this. You know it's a template. You know it's a smart template. <laughs> Chrissy, no, I wasn't playing today. I said we're going we're gonna to get on top of these trends so I can be, um, be on trend with you all and get you all really posting, posting more frequently, posting more products, uh, doing more digital designs and variations. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are going to start uh, letting you all give us suggestions for the uh, future projects that we do for class. So that's going to be interesting. So this is a trend. If you don't know anything about it, uh, don't go look it up because it will be in your head all day. But this period, I uh, period, uh, we're going to uh, change this out to a Halloween inspired design. All right. Y'all ready? <laughs> I'm glad you love it, love. Okay, so this is going to be extremely quick. Coach Chrissy is going to walk y'all through this in class night. So this is my quick presentation and demo for those who want to pretty much get through the process with um, without the class notes in there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the theme and the, the colors here because, you know, this is a smart template. So we got to have some smart colors. But before we do that, I want to pull in. Um, some different I want to show you how you can pull in some different things for the um, for the patterns here so I have a few patterns already in here as you see I have like a leopard print in there I have a pattern that I made with some watercolor pumpkins and then we have a pattern that is I'm gonna turn off this lighter color so you can see here so it's like got skulls and ravens and some like creepy trees so if you want to turn this into a really cool Halloween design, here's your chance. And you may want to keep the leopard, this leopard and um, tiger print in here. You can do whatever you want to do, whatever you floats your boat or finds your lost remote. Okay. So what I really want to show you though, is that it's really super simple to come in here and even make your own pattern. If you don't know how to make your own pattern, we have a class for that. Coach Chrissy, I don't think we're going to be doing the pattern in class today because we've done that in a few previous classes. But we can show you how to make your own pattern. And then you can replace it. So here is my logo. But you could also replace it with whatever you have set up as patterns in your database there. So you can see how intricate you can really get with this. All right, so I'll leave that option on there just so that if you think you want to do your logo as a pattern on the tongue or on the lips, um, or maybe you want to do your favorite sports team, right? You take your high, favorite high school logo and put the logos on the lips and the tongue, and that will definitely sell. Okay, I don't know what it is about it. Kind of reminds you of the KISS logo, but it does definitely grab attention. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and show you some of the features here. So you have your smart colors. Remember that your smart colors have different um, different ways that the color can apply to the image underneath. So if you see it as overlay, but maybe you want to see it normal, or maybe you want to see it darkened or on some other blend mode, like right here, linear burn looks really good. You're going to have to play with the um, with the way that these color layers really adjust with the image underneath. So you have a layer for the black and white, which just makes it like grayscale. And then you have a layer that that's for the adjustment layer. It's a curves layer. It lets you play with whether it's a lighter color or a deeper color. You'll know what to use here based on the colors that you choose for your theme. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and change out the colors for the theme. And then I can show you better than I can tell you. 
So let's go all the way to the top and we're going to change out smart color number one. Double click on the smart color. We're going to come over here to our swatches and let's go for the Halloween theme. Let's do our orange theme. And if you don't see colors here, you can always go to colors that exist or you could pick colors from like your favorite sneakers or your favorite football team, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go with the orange here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to keep so I can switch back to my original image. I'm going to go with the orange, but I'm going to keep my original cyan. Okay, so I'm just switching out that orange now and you'll see it's a smart color. So everywhere that I previously had cyan now turns to orange. I really like the orange and pink. I think that's what I'm going to go with. All right, all right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep this, the smart color number two is pink, but let's go into this gradient. So you could do a solid color here. If you look, smart color these is just a regular, regular, regular black. You could just make it a solid color. But I want to play with this uh, gradient here. I'm going to double click on the gradient, click on the gradient again. And for the first color, I'm going to change that out to my orange. And then I'm going to leave it on the pink because it reminds me of like a sunset, like a really hot sunset. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to close that down. Say so yes to save my changes. And let's watch it update in the template. All right, so now we're dealing with the orange and the pink. I'm loving it, but I want this to be a bit spookier. So let's go back to tongue here. I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to keep the leopard print here. Now, remember where I was telling you, depending on what color you choose, you're going to have to play with the blend mode, which is up here. Okay, you have your blend mode, and then you also have these adjustment layers. So I'm going to take off deeper color because it's not really a deeper color. A deeper color is going to be like a burgundy or a forest green, something of that capacity. Um, I could turn on lighter color and it brightens it up a little bit because it is playing with the curves there. You can adjust those curves if you want. I suggest you kind of just leave them all alone just to get the gist of how this works and just use the deeper color or the lighter color. All right, so I have lighter color turned on here. Now, do I want orange or pink? I think I'm going to go with the pink on the top. All right, and again, I could turn on the leopard print or any of these other prints down below. I could even turn on my pumpkins there and turn off the leopard print and just make it do what it do. Okay, and again, the blend mode is going to affect how the image below affects. So if I turn the color off in general, you see I have black and white enabled. I can turn off my black and white. I can turn off my lighter color. And then you can see that I have the, the pumpkins there. If I do want the pumpkins to be on top of the black and white, I just drag my pumpkin pattern layer up top here. And then I'll turn on my black and white so that the tongue has the black and white. I can turn on the pink background now. And instead of the multiply blend mode, I'm going to have to choose normal. And now the pumpkins appear normally colored on top of the pink tone. So you have some awesomeness to play with in class tonight. And I think you'll really get to, to have fun with that. And also, let me go ahead and turn pumpkins off so you can see. If you turn on, let's say, this pattern fill, you can double click on the pattern. And you can actually change the scale of the pattern. Let's say you think the image is too small, you change the scale of it. And that's the beauty of a pattern. I can do the same thing with the tiger print there. Change the scale. And that's for you to have fun with. All right, so I'm going to go with, let's do the pumpkins because we can always do the rock and roll thing. And I want my pumpkins to be pink. So I'm going to drag the pumpkins underneath the black and white layer so that it just recolors and it doesn't look, it looks more subtle than it does if I don't do this. Take off deeper color. Turn on my black and white, and there I go. 
All right, so for the text, if I want to change the text out, I can go to my word I. Let's say you don't want to say period I, period us. Some of you may not want to do that. If that is the case, then you're going to go into the text and just double click on the T and say what you want to say. So let's say I want to say trick or treat. So for the top, I'm going to select period and I'm going to put trick. Then the I will be or then the period down here will be treat. So let's do that. Let me make sure that I do a save as alternate version. Because I'm making a bunch of changes here. We'll double click on the T for period and I'm just going to type trick T-R-I-C-K. And I'm also giving you this font for free. This is my live in 90s font that I develop. And then for the word I, we're going to put or. We do capital O-R if you want to. And then for the word period, I'm going to double click on the word period and I'm going to type treat. And then since we don't need the uh, we just turn the eyeball off for that. And let's say for treat, you want to see what it looks like capital. Don't type it in in capital letters. Just come over here to your characters, to your all caps. And I think I like that. And one more thing, we can change the background image, of course. Right now with some flames, you may like it with the flames. But if you double click on this, you can import or you can do file, place embedded, and you can place any image you want there. I kind of have a little spooky image here for you already. And now we just change that into a really cool Halloween design. And I'm not feeling the pumpkins anymore. I'm going to turn pumpkins off and I think I'm going to go with the tiger print. All right. So that's really it. Um, when you get ready to save it, now I have, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I have some vampire teeth on here for y'all as a surprise. Boom. You can turn it into a real quick. Uh, Halloween theme at the vampire teeth if you think that goes for your effect there and you just did a template flip in five minutes or less <laughs> thank you Teresa I'm glad you think it's amazing I can't wait to see what you all because you all come up with the amazing stuff because whatever is on your mind comes to life when y'all get into these templates okay so I'm just going to go ahead and save this variation so this is a variation that you all will have um, which one would y'all rather have? Would y'all rather have the trick or treat or the period? Ugh. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, you know what? I'll give y'all both. How about that? So that you will have two different designs that, um, that you can go ahead and hit the ground running with. Now, if I do this, I want y'all to promise me that you're going to make something with this stuff. Make something, put it on TikTok, put it on Instagram, show the process, like get people excited that you are about to come on the market with this design. Okay, I also want to challenge y'all to do um, what is it? What is it called? Aunt? Where they do like the is it the side by side? What is that called? Reaction. Uh, yeah, do a reaction video. Go look up. Um, go look up the period uh, thing. Just do your research and do a reaction video on Instagram and see if that gets your likes up because um, that could help you trend right now. Okay, so make sure when you get ready to save this, take off the background color. I have it on the white one so you can see if anything is, you know, really trashy and going to cut off hard lines. Y'all know I don't do hard lines. So turn this off and then you can basically file, save a copy, save it as a PNG, and it is ready to go. Okay, so I have my PNG there. And then I have the other version. And I want y'all to get busy with this thing, y'all. If, if I can motivate you all by doing this type of you know, whatever trendy content every week, let me know what y'all want to see every week because I, I want to make sure that y'all are getting on it and you are doing something you're excited about, okay? All right, well, I have to head out. Um, if you have any questions, Coach Chrissy is an amazing coach. She's going to make sure that y'all not only make it through class, but that you have a design that is print worthy before you finish class, y'all. You're going to have a final design so there's no creative left behind make sure that if you are a vip member that you look for your coupon code so you can register for class tonight for the free 99 and uh, make sure that you are posting what you're doing in the group so we can see what you're working on
All right. Well, y'all know what it is. I appreciate you. And I love you dearly. Until next time. Bye.